I am quite arrogant about my 3D printing abilities. That begs the question, why do I have so much evidences that I am not? Uh, presented with incredibly high rate of failure, I had to take a deeper look into my settings and results were very interesting. Quick overview of failure background. Material is uh, PETG. Large, large number, number of uh, small parts. It means a lot of travel between parts. And finally, uh, not a serious amount of overhangs. Second, my most popular video on this channel is one where I explain importance of Z-Hub settings. And I stand behind what I said there. Funny enough, this very setting was a culprit behind all this wasted plastic and time. We all know that PETG is quite stringy plastic. That gives it very good layer adhesion and decent deformation qualities. Here, on this video, you can see that as print head travels from one piece to another, it creates a string that sticks vertically as it does Z-Hub. It means, as you print, your hot end will collect these plastic strings on itself. Eventually, because hot end is, uh, well, hot, the fluid dynamics will take over and the clump of plastic like this or this, oh, that's perfect, <laughs> uh, will droop down, knocking small parts over and creating the uh, chain reaction of failure, such as this one. If you print PLA, keep your Z-Hub on. If you print PETG, consider amount of travel. If there is a lot of it, because you print uh, many small parts like I did here, and there is not much overhangs, remove the Z-Hub or make it one millimeter. Make sure you have print perimeter first option on, as your nozzle will wipe itself as it will travel to the next piece. Another helpful tip is uh, if you need a bunch of small PETG parts that has overhangs, decrease the number of pieces, so you will have chance to complete your print before plastic will accumulate too much. If you cannot do this because it is a single piece with a lot of vertical segments and overhangs, you are screwed. Well, no, not really. <laughs> Just pause your print once or twice and clean the nozzle and you should be good. Fiddling with retraction settings is always an option, but I found it very hard to get rid of stringing completely. Good luck!